Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So remember when I said I wanted to start off the new year with positivity and on the right foot and all that? Well, I spoke too soon. So it's been two days now and the riot, not the riots, the protests have started again. Great thing for the country, again, but bad thing for the economy, for daily life, that sort of thing. So, um, what happened? Yesterday, people in the hundreds, I think, or thousands maybe, probably hundreds, went all over Lebanon on the streets protesting. Um, apparently they don't like the choice for prime minister, so everybody's annoyed and angry and really angry, actually. They're beyond annoyed. They're just pissed off at this point. A lot of vandalism last night. Uh, banks got broken into. The ATMs were like trashed and a lot of graffiti everywhere, glass everywhere. The world has gone insane. What is up with the world? Seriously, like first Australia goes up in flames, then um, Puerto Rico has like, I don't know how many earthquakes, like really bad earthquakes. I don't know if you've heard about that, but they've been super, super bad. And now like, I don't know, the whole world is like just going crazy. Anyway, so today I'm going to read some headlines on um, some of the Lebanese media just to tell you what's going on. Um, this is from Beirut.com. So, I mean, yesterday, yesterday I was at work and I went online and I saw all of these um, headlines and I was like freaking out. I don't know. A lot of them are predictive, so it's not like they're going to happen, but it's like a lot of could happens and the one that just got me was <laughs> um, the first one I saw was Le Mole Sinel Fil announces they're closing down. Sorry about that, I'm back. Um, where were we? We were looking at the um, what were we doing? We were looking at the headlines of Beirut.com. Right, okay. So, basically yesterday I got a message saying that, um, it was a, actually a Twitter message, um, saying that Le Mall was closing down, and I kind of freaked out because that's where I go, like, all the time. And it's kind of scary, like, economically if a mall is closing because they can't support their employees. And it even said, like, the other two branches of the same mall are also in question. Ignore Leo. Um, okay, so then I went on Beirut.com and I started reading all of the other news headlines and just started freaking out. Um, again, they're just speculation, some of them. They're not like going to happen or, you know, but a lot of them are actually things that are happening right now. So let's see what we got here. Um, since it's been like a good 24 hours since I checked. Okay, so the first one was Sinel Fil Mall Le Mall is announces they're closing down. Uh then now this is the one that really freaked me out. Lebanon heading towards an internet shutdown. Chairman of Ogero warns. I'll just read a little bit of the first um part. The chairman of Ogero revealed that Lebanon may be facing an internet shutdown by the end of March 2020 unless the Ministry of Telecom manages to secure four million in foreign currency dollars, obviously. The chairman shared the news during a report and later confirmed the news on Twitter. So this digital blackout could happen by the end of March and this comes in parallel with the possibility of a complete power blackout by the end of February should the 2020 budget not pass. That's scary. That's speculation, but that is scary. Um, okay, so this is from today. Like, I'm starting from the top. If you can see, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Uh, there, I'm starting from like the, the most recent um, headline. List of roads 
currently closed as of 5.25 p.m. Yeah, so the protests are on full swing today. Um, so let's see, roads closed as of 5 p.m. Now it's 9, but... Anyway, Junior Highway, both ways, that's a major road. Saifi Road leading to the ring, which the ring is like a major point, like, connecting other parts of Lebanon with Beirut. That's the one they use always to protest at. It's become like a, you know, the protest place. Um, Corniche and Mazara, both ways. Badawi Highway, both ways. Zahle Roundabout, both ways. Um, Talabaya Main Road, I don't know where that is. Um, okay, and that's it. Um, so yeah, a lot of road closures. We were just out in Ashrafie, um, and the roads were fine, but I don't know about later tonight. Um, it seems to be just getting worse as the night gets longer, so we gotta wait. Association of Banks in Lebanon set on fire late last night. That's another headline. Um, here's some good news. Lebanon, Lebanese architect wins international competition to design headquarters for Alibaba company. UN special coordinator for Lebanon says politicians blame yourselves for this dangerous chaos. Protesters in Talabaya Beka prevent, um, MP Michael Daher from passing. Day 90, which was yesterday, day 90 basically, they're counting the, the days that the protest started. So yesterday was day 90, today would be day 91. Day 90 brings back protest roadblocks across Lebanon. Yeah, we know that. Update, Lebanon pays UN membership dues. Because apparently yesterday, um, there was a headline saying that the that Lebanon lost its voting rights at the UN for not paying their dues. So apparently, finally, they paid. So that's it for Beirut.com. Um, let's go to the Daily Star. The Daily Star is an actual newspaper. Day 91, burning tires and dumpsters return. Protesters burned tires and lit dumpsters on fire to block roads across Lebanon Wednesday during the 91st day of the nationwide anti-government protests. Beirut's Ring Bridge like we said before, was blocked on both sides by protesters with burning tires Wednesday evening. Protesters started gathering in front of the central bank in Hamra following Tuesday night's vandalism of banks and clashes with the riot police. Uh, the road under the Kola Bridge was also blocked by protesters in the evening with burning dumpsters. In Junye, students blocked one of the side one side of a highway and later scuffled with army soldiers who deployed on the ground and forcibly reopened the road. In Corniche Mazara, Mazara, protesters set fire to trash bins and threw stones at security forces in protest at the arrest of dozens of demonstrators in Hamra Tuesday night. The week of anger, as dubbed by many activists, has been in full swing with crowds gathering in front of banks in several locations to condemn the country's deteriorating economic situation. And yeah, so this is now the week of anger. I, ju we, I just keep checking Twitter and they said something about Thursday. Hold on, let me see. <sighs> they said, and I put this on my um, Instagram feed if any of you follow it. Um, I'm like updating all the time. Um, MTV English News, that's another um, major news source. Sources from the popular movement in Lebanon. We will resort to major escalation starting from Thursday afternoon and we call for a general strike. Which means that it, if tonight goes well for them, um, which means that we may or may not have school tomorrow. We may or may not. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, really. Um, Restaurants and stores may be closed, the schools may be closed, roads may be blocked, we can't get to work. I don't know. So we just have to wait and see what happens. Another place I, you know, keep um, updated on is Twitter. Because a lot of people tweet about the protests and things. Um, let's see if MTV has anything new. 
Mm. No, nothing new really. Uh, let's see. And a lot of the tweets are in Arabic, so I can't read them, but... Um, okay, Lebanon protests. Latest. Ooh. That's not good. Banks in Saida besieged with fire belts. Oh god, that's creepy. Here, that's the picture, and that's like fire. I guess they pour oil along the lines and then they light it on fire. That is really creepy. Whew. They really hate the banks. Um, a new inevitable phase of Lebanon protests is unfolding. Some girl, Nirvana Mahmoud, tweeted this um, 11 minutes ago. Secretarian, oh, it's a it's a retweet from Firas Maksad. Secretarian violence erupting in Lebanon Beka Valley tonight on heels of night of violence against Beirut banks yesterday. Lebanon appears to have entered a more violent phase as people suffocate under rapidly deteriorating socioeconomic conditions with no solutions in sight. It's not looking good, people. It's really not looking good. It's just like going downhill really fast. Um, I don't know. People are vandalizing. And this isn't to say everyone, like all the protesters. I mean, they're, they're not. The vandalism is going on by other groups. And it's definitely not, you know, helping the situation. It's usually just make things worse. Luna Safwan tweeted 20 minutes ago, We are not leaving yet. We may escalate. We might escalate soon. Protesters closing down the entrance of this local police station in Beirut tonight to demand the release of rioters and protesters and other random people who were arrested during last night's riot. And there's a video here. Um, so, let's see. 36 minutes ago. Oh, I can't read that. It's in Arabic. Um, okay, Luna Safwan has some amazing tweets, so go follow her if you're interested. Um, I'm retweeting her um, her tweets, so you can see them on my Twitter account, too. It's at Viveka the expat. If anyone wants to follow me, go ahead. Please do. Um, okay, so she says, picture showing how the number of protesters is doubling in Beirut in front of the local police station where up to 56 protesters and rioters are being held in custody. This crowd is demanding the immediate release of all 56. And the photo is... That is a lot of people. <sighs> so that's about all that's happening right now. Um, like I said, there's nothing happening in my area. It's like super quiet it's peaceful it's fine so yesterday on our way back home from work we had a large detour it was like it usually takes like 40 minutes 45 minutes to get home but it took us like an hour and a half almost because we had to go the long way because the major road was closed and like protesters were starting to go to the the highway and they were closing it with cars so i have some footage of that to show you so right now we are stuck in traffic and due to protests all over we are just trying to get home from work and basically that part over there is blocked by cars and this is pretty much the only way we have to go. So yeah, we are stuck in traffic. Oh, they're, they're blocking this road. They blocked this road. Here. So let me know if you like these types of videos um, where I keep you updated with the news headlines. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you are more informed of what's going on. And don't forget to stay in touch with me on Instagram and Twitter. And see you next time. Bye.